All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Greedfall. Sorry about that. I had a couple of weird technical difficulties trying to get the stream to launch, which is weird. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we figured it out, or I figured it out a little bit. So At least we're here. <laughs> all right, so. We, uh... want to do some of these other side quests. So Vasco, what is it you needed my help with? Glad to see you, my friend. I intend to prove to the Admiral that I fully identify as a knot once more. Without regrets, I will have to go through a test of loyalty. It will certainly be dangerous, but with your help, I am convinced that I will succeed. So, shall we go and see her? Sure. With pleasure. Let's oh, see what adventure wall. she has in store for us. All right, so let's see. Let's bring Kurt and see uh, Vasco and Siora. Siora is just a healer, and we need her. We need her. Plus, she's a good guide for the whole island. But but she she can heal. Come closer, good people. The and wine. Why don't you go to bed, wine salesman? All right, Admiral, what do you got for Vasco? Good day, milady. Disarde. I'm the emissary of the congregation on Tierfredi and cousin to the governor. I know exactly who you are. Enchanted. I am Admiral Cabral, and I see that you're accompanied by one of our own. Hardy winds, Vasco. Hardy winds, Admiral. You are still angry with me for keeping you ashore, are you not? You'll one day thank me for it, but I don't suppose you've come to talk to me about affectations. What can I do for you? Uh, Vasco wants to speak. Captain Vasco, I'm glad to see you again. Did you profit from your time on land? I did, Admiral. That's why I've come to see you. You want me to entrust you with a loyalty mission? Indeed. Very well. A short time ago, we lost one of our ships near the island. The reputation of the Norts suffered from it. I have heard about it. An incomprehensible sinking which fueled numerous rumors. We cannot let the land dwellers think we are losing the sea. So I need someone to investigate and restore our reputation. At your orders, Admiral, and with pleasure. The shipwreck is stranded on the shore, southwest of the island. Not far from when Xavier. Thank you, Admiral. I'm counting on you, Captain Vasco. Okay. Is it anywhere we've been before? I doubt it, but... Around this way. We can just go back to the, uh... No, because I, I don't think we've been... We haven't been there to fast travel there, so we gotta take it on foot, I think. That's the wrong map. Um, up north. This way, right? Yeah. the air out of frustration. Doctor's gloves. We're gonna keep getting attacked, aren't we? Until we figure out how to get rid of them. Right, 
right up here. Are there bandits around here or something? Getting the ominous music. There's two something. All right, so where are we going exactly? Basically forward for right now. Hello, boys. Oh my god, are we... Are we in too... Too high a level area? Oh god. Um... We might not be able to do this for a little bit. No, no, okay. Let's just, uh... Let's get out of combat. There we go. That's how that works. Um, we can finally do this one. Oh, this is the wrong direction. So, just finish that up a little bit. All right. Ah, oh, Kurt. Where's Kurt? There you are. Hey, buddy. Oh, no, I Rain meant to. Blood, my friend. I meant to put you in the team. I must leave you. Oh God, Vasco is kind of. Stuck being my companion right now. Shit. Shit. Wait a minute. Okay. So maybe the area isn't <laughs> high level, just those enemies are, and we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Let's try it out. Because I do, at any case, want to get some of these side quests done. You know, just get the side quest done to be a pretty good a level. You know, that, there we go. Pretty good a level to just tackle a lot more of the main quests all at once. Where are we? Forward still? Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go. Okay, so they're... Okay, they were just high level for some reason. These are normal. <laughs> Okay, we're good. Is it down this way? Uh, that's a caravan up ahead. We'll just use that as a waypoint-ish to where to go and what to hit.
Okay. This is a native village? Wait, what, what is attacking? Oh, it was that. Village of Wind Shivan? I'm gonna get stuck on this rock, aren't I? Oh no. Can I get around? Yes, thank god. They just don't have a problem with me running through here. Okay. Um, so I suppose going this way might be a good way. Is this way? Down here? Let me get rid of this waypoint. There we go. So it might be down this way. That's the good way to go. Got some of those bats up ahead. I don't actually know what those things are called. Put a poison on my blade. And let's go! Take a potion if you want to cast more spells. Oh shit. There we go. You are just not having a good time against these things. Is that all? We good? I think we're clear. Oh my god, why can't I get this? There we go. Camera's just having a good old time. Right, so which way? More beasts up ahead. Bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! Oh shit! Thankfully, I was able to buy and craft some good armor early. Uh. It's a gorgeous cliffside. There's something up here. Skill altar. And a skill point. Probably gonna be getting another one as soon as we kill something that gives us more XP. Just a little though. Alright, in we go. Is my lantern still on? Yes.
that. Crude iron. More iron. This would be good for crafting. It says it's up, but I don't see like a path or a staircase. Go. Dead soldier. Wait a minute, what? Oh, we turned around a little bit. I think. Yeah, because we're going that way. So the shipwreck, they must have moved the cargo inside. And probably wild animals killed them. Oh shit. There we go. I'm wounded. I need help. Oh shit. Alright, good save. Alright, let's level up. Got two skill points. And lightning dash. What is this? Shield of enlightenment. Oh, of the enlightened. Let's see, these are probably going to both require two. So, I probably can do better with the shield overall. What is this? What do we got? What do we want to do? Uh, let's go mental power and talent points. Let's go crafting two or intuition two. Always need better armor and weapons. I can figure out another way to get past this dialogue uh, stuff. Jesus. It looks like the corpse of a Muramir. Is this a crafting table? Right, let's see what we can do. Let's upgrade my stuff while we're here. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Three will help me get this stuff. Breastplate. One twenty. What does that add? What does that add? I don't think that adds anything. <laughs> All right. Pouch and tools. What does that do? One lock picking and fury generation. All right. Um. See, I can't do anything to see or his stuff. Let's see what we can do here. 35 versus what is this 39 and my boots though actually
45. Yep, this is pretty good. And then we'll equip those. And then I'm gonna do a little bit for Vasco. Cause I have a feeling something bad's gonna happen. Give him All right, what do we breastplate? Missing components, okay. Yeah, that doesn't help. Okay. Whoa. Into the deep we go. Couple of corpses. The corpses are chained up. These beasts were captive. Could they have died during the sinking? <coughs> I don't think so. Don't seem to have drowned. Something really? bigger slaughtered them. Oh, no effort shit. at all. Incoming boss fight. Something ripped out of this cage. It looks like an enormous cage. But look, it's been broken. Is this ringing any bells for anyone else? Unfortunately, <laughs> I saw some. Oh, this, this. Oh God! The hole was torn apart, and given the way that the wood is broken, it came from the inside. Damn it! What happened here? There are scratch marks almost everywhere on the wood, but they do not look like the marks a reef would make. This ship was apparently carrying creatures from the island. The largest one managed to escape and made a hole in the hull as it tried to run away. Just like in Serene. The sailors did not stand a chance. The Admiral will not be satisfied with our deductions. She will want concrete proof. Let's keep searching. Okay. God damn. Yeah, well still, that that's your proof there, Vasco. Do we have to kill it? <laughs> yep. Oh dear God. Not doing too much to it. Oh, shit. Well, I've got a nope, it's underground. It's underground. Oh shit. Get out of the All right. Oh, it's unaffected by stun. Oh no. Got a bunch of ammo. So maybe we can just shoot it armor down. There we go, that's better. Let's switch to magic. Which is doing not great. Swords do better. Shit. Close to 
Keep it up, keep it up, Siona. Andiamo. Andiamo, bastardo. Stunning it. Shit, it's underground again. I can stun it under there, but it's not gonna do much. Oh, that's horrific. Okay. Everybody okay? We good? We finally managed to get the creature to entrust entrust it to us abort. Yeah, they yeah, you had a hard time with that, didn't you? All the clues seem to corroborate the captain's journal. This is the same thing that happened at the harbor in Serene. The guardian who was locked up on board freed itself and ripped apart the hull of the boat to get out. Yes. And my brothers had no means of saving their lives or the ship, alas. Let's go back and explain this to the Admiral. The captain's journal will serve as proof. Okay. Back out the way we came. Siora, if you wouldn't mind us casting one of them healing spells again, please. That'd be real great. So, we need to find a fast travel point, which the nearest one is, oh, there's a camp there. The nearest one is that, but I want to get that camp first. So, we're just going to have to jog through. the village once more I hope you guys don't mind you don't really seem to care this uh oh great thanks Ciara Let's 
set up camp. We have three camp locations here. So I'm, I'm assuming it's these two beyond. Or it's somewhere around. Um, let us go back to New Serene. Ah, Jesus, that hurt. Hmm? Oh, God. Sorry, Petrus. Admiral? Desarde, what can I do for you? Regarding the mission you entrusted Captain Vasco with... We have come to give our conclusions. I'm listening. We examined the shipwreck and the surrounding area. A creature they carried on board managed to set itself free. An enormous beast. It made a hole in the hull and caused the sinking. We could only find dead bodies. Alas, I was expecting it. May the sea be their shroud. We shall not forget them. Did you find anything? The captain's journal tells the tale of the ship from their departure to the sinking. Thank you, Vasco. It seems that the potions of the Alliance failed us once more. And rest assured, we will never transport another one of those creatures. They are too dangerous for our ships. Our honor is safe, thanks to you. You have proven your loyalty, and you have regained my trust. What you have achieved for us all deserves to be a part of your history, Vasco. I will send someone to tell the Tattooist. He'll be waiting for you. Okay. Oh, the tattooist is over this way. All right, Vasco, what's you getting tattooed? I have come to receive my tattoo. The Admiral should have informed you. Indeed, Captain. Congratulations. Well, take a seat. You know the drill. What do you think about it? I feel more naught than ever. Great. Congratulations, Vasco. Okay, sweet. And that's a mission for Vasco done. So, let's actually finally go help the merchant out like we've been trying to do for God knows how long, and then things just sort of pop up actually let's uh, switch out Vasco for Kurt There we go. We're all good. Sorry, Petrus. Didn't mean to do that. It just sort of does that whenever I'm near you. Oh, okay. You're gonna cause a problem? all good we're good clear all right, let's loot these beasts and stay on the path just it really depends on where the path wants to take us we'll, we'll hit these two. Oh, that's a camp wait is this a cave no. Oh, and another skill point area. Good. 
it? Where is it? Oh my god, I'm just blind. I'm a blind fool. Alright, so... This next. Just hit, hit the waypoints on the way, why not? So like the Witcher, just hit the question marks when you pass them. stuck mostly to the cities for a little while so now it's finally time we get out in the wilderness I'm um, carrying too much to sprint all right uh, let's see what I can get rid of whip carry uh, recycle See if there's any bigger weapons. No, that's fine. I should probably put these in storage. They're really good. Oh, it's a caravan. That's what that was. Go, clear that off. And so we're kind of going downwards after that. Towards the south. Thing barely woke up and it's already dead. That is the benefit of being a battle mage. Something's up here. Wait, are we still in combat? Nothing much, okay. So we just keep forward. Split we gotta take and venture anywhere. Alright, so this just takes us to a skill uh, point. Please tell me that this is not a deadly encounter. Ooh. Right. The big one is a little bit more difficult, but. Okay. It's not possible. Oh, I can't now. do th shit. I need one in science. gonna bring us down this way one of those two has to be a camp for sure oh shit I'm going the wrong way Need 
please. Holy shit. Or any advice? Knock, knock, just open his door. Don't even knock. Start stealing his shit. Okay, so I, I directly interact with him. It's not going to put me in a cutscene immediately. Bertitumad. I am Ulan, chief of the village of Vignamri. You have a peculiar face. And it looks familiar. I didn't know that people from the continent could bear the mark of the Onol Manawi. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Just wanted to say hi and... Talk about a merchant. I met a member of your clan in New Serene, a merchant. Oh, so you are the strange Anal Manawi, who helped and saved our hunter. I am very grateful to you. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. I knew the Renaik say could be good. And you proved to everyone that I was right. You are someone that the kings of the Renaig say respect and listen to, are you not? As the legate of the congregation, it is true that I can talk to all the governors of this island. That is what I taught. I need your help to talk to the leader of the great city of Hikmet. Okay. About what? I want to meet him to offer a peace treaty between his clan and mine. The Cisagnameus. Many kings want to chase the Renaigse away from the island, especially the kings of Hikmet. But I know we could learn many things from them, and we could arrange a great deal. I see. I can indeed talk to the governor about your desire to make peace. If you do talk to him, can you also tell him that one of my clansmen has come to trade with his town? I sent him some time ago. But I was told that the soldiers did not let him in. He fears for his life. Because some other clans do not look favorably on exchanges with the Renaigse. He could be attacked at any moment. Alone on the road. Very well. I will make sure that he obtains permission to enter. Okay. Negotiating peace already and we just got here. Travel to Hikmet. Up we go. Oh, it's nighttime. Governor Burren, I have an offer for you. a little depleted your excellency lady de Sade, and to what do i owe this honor i met ulan the bone blowers clan chief from the village of vignamri he is an open-minded man who holds great expectations of exchanges with the colonies he would like to meet you to discuss a treaty even an alliance ulan you say I have never heard mention of this name. 
But to finally have an ally among the natives could only be beneficial. That is excellent news. Still, I fear that I cannot leave the city. That would be taking too much of a risk. I doubt that Ulan will come to Hikmet. He is looking for an alliance, but he is not desperate. Such a gesture would be considered a sign of weakness by his clan. That is understandable, I suppose. Do they grasp the concept of emissaries? Do you think that solution might work? I think that might be possible. I'm sure he would understand that you could not come to see him in person for the same reason. Excellent. Finally, some clear skies in our negotiations with the natives. My right-hand man will then go to this village to finalize an agreement with King Ulan. I'll be there too, to make sure everything goes according to our plans. There is another matter concerning the same village that I would like to bring to your attention. A wandering merchant, member of the Ulan clan, is being kept in your outpost. Can you authorize his entry into the city? I see no harm in that. This merchant is certainly not a threat to us, and he might even prove useful if the negotiations with his clan should take a foul turn. Here, please be so kind as to give him this letter of passage. If he presents it to the guards, they will let him in and he'll be able to establish his stall in town. I thank you. I hope to see you again. I have All to go. Right. making progress. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lady. Let's go bust this man out of prison and, uh... Go deliver the message back. He went all the way at the outpost. I mean, which is why I wish there were horses in this game or something. Cause that, like, it's far enough to ride to, but not fast travel to, if you think about it. But just running, sprinting full speed at it is just a, a little bit slower than a horse. Or slower than a horse would be. Wait, are we under attack? Okay. Because if... Should be up this ramp, yes. Uh, nope, you can't do that. Gotta go over the bridge. Where is he? Oh, God. Me stupid. Just a bit further out. Somewhere around here. Please, help me! Just keep walking, Renaixe. This does not concern you. Have mercy! They will kill me! I am but a merchant who wishes to trade with the big city. I never thought I would see several islander warriors attacking a mere merchant. And I thought honor and righteousness were of the utmost importance in your culture. I must have been mistaken. What are you trying to say, Renaixe? Are you insulting us? You are insulting yourselves by behaving this way. He's an unarmed man. He's trying to survive. What honor is there in attacking him? He is a traitor. He deserves to be punished. But you are right. He is not worth attacking. Let's leave. His punishment will come once we have chased an Anaixe away, and he cannot sell his products. Adlo Reda Odolmanawi. May the trees along your path 
always bear fruit. Think nothing of it. Ulan told me that you were not able to enter the town. It is true. The soldiers did not let me enter. They left me outside, and the Donea Exergao took advantage of this opportunity to attack me. Rest assured, I have obtained permission for you to enter from the Governor of Hikmet, which should allow you to set up your stall in the city. At Loreda Renaixi. Thanks again. Farewell, merchant. Perhaps we will meet again. Have fun. All right, inform Ulan of the impending arrival of the emissaries. Is there a good fast show point? No, I, I can just run to the world exit this time. Let me get back on the road first. Back down. So let me, uh, let me do this. Oh wait, no, back. Seriously, Kurt can't. Kurt can't use this. Not yet. Right, store. We'll keep that out. <coughs> Ula, I see that the governor of Hikmet's emissary is already here. He is. And I am very thankful that you succeeded in organizing this meeting. I am full of hope for the future. We are very grateful as well, Your Excellency. However, if you could leave us, I am sure you can understand that the discussion we are about to have must remain confidential. Naturally. I hope that you will reach an agreement. Wait an hour? Okay. So, what, we just take a nap? Or technically two hours. Oh my god. Stuck on rocks! Okay, well they're just gonna see us in four hours. On, how'd it go? Oh, he's still here. So, have you reached an agreement? Our discussions were very fruitful. However, we are faced with a problem. Really? Our peace treaty depends on the ability to exchange freely. And Chief Ulan has warned me that our merchants would be at risk of being attacked by the neighboring clan. Mordun, the chief of the village of Igugsob, is at the near Exregal. He is among those who think that the people of your island are only here to take from us. But his village would also benefit from this agreement. If you could convince him to meet us, we could reach an understanding, allowing the caravans to pass through his territory. Without this, I am afraid we would not be able to make a commitment. Peace and trade are linked. If our merchants risk their lives coming here, I am sure that you will manage to convince him that the Renaixe are not all bad. I can try, at least. At the Redar, we will wait here and hope that you will manage to reason with him. Alright. On another diplomatic mission. Gotta love it. So... Let's see. Nope, 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 don't do that. Alright, so around somewhere. 
Right, so where are we headed? Just sort of off to the left. This valley is vast. We should get to a vantage point if we want to find this expedition. Oh yeah, that's right. There's some another thing here too. Camp right up here. Yep. Ooh, that's a long drop. any creatures out for us so what the hell is what the hell is the game trying to tell me is under is gonna attack me now I see some and they appear very very tough oh god Leave me alone. Right, did I get everything? Nope. Now we run. Another camp. Beast is gonna be a problem? I guess not. Where's this hut? Time of day changed pretty quick. Right up here. I have three skill points? Holy shit, hold on. Spread what? Put one here. What is this? Storm. Healing. We probably should invest in that. And magical healing. Bind that to, I guess, there.
No, no, swatting is not allowed. What are you doing here, and I say? Your coin are not welcome in my village. Ulan, the king of Vignemri, wants to establish a trade agreement and sign a peace treaty with the governor of Hikmet. This sounds like something he would do. All he ever thinks about is picking up the crumbs left behind by the Renaiks, say. All of that in hope of breeding new life into his village, while insulting the memory of the deceased men and women who lived there. Hikmet's emissary will only sign if their merchants can move freely and in peace. They want to meet you. I am not like him. I am a Donea Exregal. A proud man, not a slug. The Renaixe cannot be trusted. They are deceitful and only seek to trap us. Uh, oh, oh, let's do charisma. The Donea Exregal I have met were fearless, and yet you were running away from a mere meeting. By refusing to negotiate, you are only showing weakness, nothing else. Oh, not Freddy. The worst part is that you are right. I cannot refuse this meeting without appearing weak. Foyne. I will meet Ulan and his emissary. But I will not go to his village. Tell them to find me at Lambristel. I will be there in a few hours. I will tell them right away. Thank you, Mordun. All right. Got a meeting set. I how to talk to people. I never thought you would be able to convince Mordun. His anger towards the Renaigse is so strong. Well, I got a silver tongue. Swatting is not allowed, ever. Right, where the hell is the fast travel point? Wait, why did it take me here immediately? Where is the fast Oh my god, I passed it. Alright. Yeet myself all the way back. Hopefully it's one more message left, and then we can finally have this fucking meeting. <clears throat> I don't know why the hell I just did that. <laughs> Ulan! We got a meeting place. Don't fuck it up. Mordun is willing to meet you at Lanristel to sign a peace treaty. You really are an accomplished negotiator and diplomat, Your Excellency. I knew you would succeed. Thanks to you, the whole region will be at peace. Do you know where this place is, Ulan? Of course. In our language, Lanristel means Glade of Promises. It is a sacred place, one whose peacefulness must be respected. It bodes well. In that case, we should go there at once. Yes. I will follow you. Come back to see me soon. And if luck is on our side, we will celebrate peace together. Okay. Olan is acting strangely. I do not trust him. We should go to Lan Ristel to make sure we're not being tricked. And if we want to see this encounter, we should leave now. All right, then we'll go. Attend the negotiations. Five hours and 56 minutes. I don't know if that means we have five hours to get there or they start in five hours. Swatting's illegal. Ha Look, have you not watched me do like several successful negotiation che or charisma checks for negotiation please 
If things turn violent, it will not be because of me. What's this? Uh, what if it... Well, that, that, yeah, that's a different story, but also this is not all based on D&D &D mechanics. Should just be up here. Oh shit! See? See what I say? Why did I just take a health potion? Let's go and rescue. Oh god! Oh, the animals are on our side. Good job, Kurt. Adloredar. Thank you for coming. You saved me. Dadakar Sedulan. I should have known he would betray us both. My men are dead, and now I am injured. He achieved exactly what he wanted in the end. I will have to join another clan if I do not want my whole village to suffer the consequences of my defeat. I'm sorry, Mordun. I really am. You were deceived, just like I was. Sometimes, among the stones, there can be snakes. Farewell, on Olmanawi. And do not let yourself be betrayed again. Okay, talk to Ulan is our next objective. What are we gonna do? Just like, uh, cuss him out? Is that all the loot? No, it is not. It's some back here. Run on back. Again, wish I had a horse. That's the only way I can think of to improve this game. You treacherous bastard. You want to explain? Traitor. This meeting was meant to establish peace, and yet you have exclusively sent armed men. Mordun was a Danea ex regal. He would have never accepted an agreement with the Renaig Say. He would have endlessly attacked our merchants and our allies' caravans. We had to protect ourselves if we were to make these exchanges possible. So we did. By lying and manipulating me. I am sorry, but I was unsure that you would agree to help us if I told you the truth. I understand your anger, but keep in mind that we are now at peace, thanks to you. You are now a Karans of Ignamri, and should you seek it, you will always have our assistance. Anything else? Nah, goodbye. Nothing. I must go. Desarde is angry with you. <laughs> goodbye. Okay, so... When we return, I think we're gonna try to find that... Wait, uh... Yeah, we're going to do that expedition, because why not? So, uh, thanks so much for watching, uh, and I will be back in a moment.